Yes, yes, y'all know what it is, man. It's the Earn and Ice Old Show. If you don't know now, you know. We back at it. The world's fastest growing podcast in the world. We thank you for being here with us. Uh, we ask that you like, rate, review, share, subscribe. All of those small things to show you appreciate the big things that we do. But nonetheless, let's get into the part that we normally do. How was your week? How was your weekend? Everything is wonderful, man. Ain't got no complaints. Thank y'all for the um, for the plays, you know what I mean? The support. Um, y'all loving the material. You know what I mean? The thing, the content that we making. Um, my brother says thank you too. You know what I mean? For for y'all showing support for the expansion team. Um, other than that, man, I ain't got really too much to just thank y'all, man. Thank y'all for the success we having, man. We having success at a time where some people seem struggling, talking about the struggles of the industry and all this and that, and we don't seem to be that don't seem to be affecting us, so. I'm grateful for that. I appreciate that. And that's because of y'all. Yes, man. As y'all know, man, this is the uh, Halloween season. And I've been checking out a couple Halloween movies. So if you're looking for a Halloween movie, my suggestion right now, a movie that I thought was kind of cool, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Uh, I watched like the first Duh. 10 minutes of that joint. <laughs> yeah. I think I had to leave. The first, the first 10, 15 minutes of that joint was crazy. Which one you watched? I one never one got into it. I got to no, know. I think I got to, I came the first one when they was killing people. <laughs> they was killing people out in like the fucking they was killing people out in the woods. Yeah. And like she tried to jump like the golf cart or whatever, start the golf cart up or something yeah, like that. Yeah, One yeah, of them yeah. joint. Yeah. Yo, I ain't get back to the movies. I, I, I had to I had to leave. But the first 10, 15 minutes was wild. I was Duh. like, who thought of this? <laughs> Duh, but that, I, yeah, I yeah. guess Winnie the Pooh, like the the, the is, is is a story like Pinocchio. Like nobody owns the rights to it. You can tell your story. Cause I'm like, yo, how can they just Name this drink Winnie the Pooh and actually had a characters in this drink. Like, wouldn't the people that created this sue them? But I don't know. Like, maybe it's just one of them universal stories like Snow White. Anybody can tell a story because it's just a story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because they, yeah, yeah, that junk crazy. But I, I, another <laughs> joint that I did, I, a joint that I watched was uh, Mr. Crockett on Hulu. Okay, okay. That joint was wild. Yeah. I was trying to think of the other joint that I watched, but I, I, I can't think of the name of it. Uh, I watched it from the trailer that I saw that was going around on Instagram. It'd be like the girl, she'd be like sitting next to the dog. Her dad be like in the kitchen. As soon as her dad like turn around, the dog just maul her and pull her, pull her like under the table. Her brother be coming down the steps. Can't think of the name of the movie. I wanted to tell y'all the name of the movie because that scene right there made me just want to watch it. I watched it for that joint. But yeah, man, that, that Winnie the Pooh, you know what I mean? Blood and Honey Part 1 and Part 2. Part 2 is a little better, you know what I'm saying? Because... When they got the part two, like, you know, yeah, I mean, the, the, the costumes got better on that joint, but that joint is wild. And it's probably a part three, because if you watch part two, at the end of that, my man, I'll be talking like, the thing that binds us together is our friendship. Christopher Robin, you know you can't kill us. And then like, what? That's how that joint be. Yo, because like, <laughs> if, you, if you saw part two, the way part two start, boy, like, blow Piggly head off with the shotgun, like, pow, he blows head right off on that joint. So Piggly be dead from the beginning, from the rip. You know what I mean? Tigger just like a, a ravenous monster. They keep oh. behind the cage until they need they need shit done. So Tigger behind the cage until like the end of the movie. All he right, come out right, and start right. killing motherfuckers. But yeah, that all shit right, wild. Yeah. Okay. You know what yeah, I'm okay. saying? But um, nonetheless, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I, I have been watching some movies. I did. I I did. I did watch that Hulu movie, uh, Mr. Crockett. I watched. Yeah. I watched that early. Actually, early, early this morning. So okay. okay. I watched that joint this morning. It's like, um. He was kind of like the black Mr. Rogers. Yeah. But it was like, it was like, the, the movie is like, it's like Stephen King's It mixed with like Freddy Krueger. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like I put together the black, that yeah, that yeah. joint is like, yeah, it's kind of like that. He be like, coming out the TV in that joint, Charlie, don't he? he? be coming from anywhere, like, so pause. <laughs> like, <laughs> joint crazy. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. joint is wild, yeah, that, man. Yeah, that joint was decent. You know what I mean? They kind of like, they kind of like, you could tell they took from like different movies, like, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street, it, and they kind of like put it together and made it like a black horror movie. I right? got you. So. But nonetheless, man, let's get into the subject at hand, man. Uh, see, you got the sign up that say pay, pay the bills. Is that what it says? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pay okay. the bills, man. So, um, yeah, we're going to get into the whole... The whole 50-50 on the bills thing. Ooh, damn, it's crazy that, that you're doing that, yo. Since you, 
before you go into that, because it's a question I was going to ask you, I didn't know you was going to go into that now. I was going to wait till the Friday's episode. All right. Now, it's crazy that you're doing that. It's this question about that shit, right? So now, because I'm a man that agree that whatever you want to pay is what you want to pay, right? If you want to pay 50-50, you're going to pay 100%. Do you think the men that say that, because don't get me wrong, a man that is, is, a, is, a, is a woman that a man can meet 100% at every level. You know what I mean? If you're a man, you can meet, it's a woman that you can meet at 100, you can pay 100%. You just got to find that woman at that level. You know what I'm saying? For the men that feel like they want to pay 50-50, is it because the woman that we want, I can't meet her at that level? You know what I'm saying? Like, me saying that I'm not with that 100% shit, is it because the woman that I want, I can't meet her at the 100% level. But the woman that, that I can meet at 100% level, that ain't the woman I want. You know what I'm saying? I understand what you're yeah. saying, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Because this is my thing. Say, I'm paying, yo, no, because it's it's about what y'all, y'all, y'all level of living. A true, lot of that, true. the whole 50 50 thing was really based on, okay, two paychecks is better than one. We oh, can yeah. live better. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We do a little bit more. That's the whole basis behind it to true, me. True, true. Because true. my thing is this. You pay 100% of the bills. Pay 100% of the bills now. If you're moving with me, I've been paying the bills. I'm here by my... This, this is my house. Right. Like, this is my house that we in now. I don't split bills with nobody. I pay the bills now. Right. But my thing is, if you come in and want more, I may be able to do a little bit more, but how much more? Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, no. So, so, so if you cool with, okay, you're on the level that he's on... Yeah. I like him when I stick with him because I'm 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 move, I'm moving in I'm moving in with him. I'm already paying 100 percent of the bills. I'm mm -hmm. paying the bills now. Right. You see what I'm saying? The whole to me 50 50. Well, it's not. Well, people say 50 50 when it's really not 50 50. You know what I'm saying? True. It, it, true. Uh, I mean, some people pay 50 50. Some people try to add up and then we are gonna split that. Well, a lot of people is okay. Whatever the biggest bill, I'll pay. And most of the time, the woman might pay the cable bill, and a woman might pay. Like, yeah, like the cell, cell phone, phone bills, bill. yeah. something like that. Yeah. That's how, in more of the time, that's how we should be breaking down with, with families. Yeah. That's really how it be. So majority of them don't pay the biggest bill when they with somebody anyway. Right. Majority right. of them don't. The that, room that I that I know they actually talk about, you know, what they pay and what they don't pay or whatever, they don't anyway. So the whole thing about, yeah, so it was like, yeah, I could find a you can find a woman that may move in. Okay, I'm going to move in. I'm still paying all the bills now. Right, right. Now, now, a lot of people saying this stuff is, we're going to get into it. We got the whole episode. So, you got women that's, you bringing, like I said, uh, some of y'all, a lot of y'all bringing baggage. Y'all mm -hmm. main baggage is y'all bringing kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of y'all bringing another man's kids. Right. So, you tell me I need to pay 100% of every goddamn thing now when... You bringing me somebody else's kid to to take to help take care of. Right, right. So I'm still gonna pay. So you're expecting a man on the everyday nine to five level to do all that? Mm -hmm. A lot of these women expectations. Some people expectations is just crazy to me. Right. It is. Now I mean, everybody the, the, the average man is not gonna be able to afford it unless you're cool with min having like minimalizing. True. Like, okay, he can pay for everything, but. I may not be able to do this, this, and this. True. Because I remember 50 Cent saying, talking about a conversation he had with his, his grandfather about why his grandfather always gave his grandmother his whole paycheck mm -hmm. and she, she handled it. He said his grandfather's answer was, if she she controlled, she controlled the finance and all the money, that, that, that kind of like helps her feel better in the fact that I can't afford all the stuff that she might right, want in life. Right. Yeah, because she could just see. Now she could just see what it is. I got you. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's Ain't why no he gave so that's why he gave his wife the whole paycheck. And right. she and she handled the finances. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Right. So okay, this is what it is. You 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 control what we do. You know what I mean? So I guess that that was a way of keeping her satisfied and her happy because uh, she not constantly worried about well I don't have this I don't have that we can't do this and we can't do that right right so when you say who paying the bill okay this whole thing to me is just it's stupid back and forth nonsense some of it some of it I do understand but some of this stuff 
some of the whole stuff that's going on on the internet, it's just, I just feel like it's just women who just, I want to be taken care of, okay. We can't just say women because it's men that make that make that statement as well. What? That a man should pay 100%. No, we're going to get into that too. Okay. Trust me, we all got right, the whole, right. yeah, yeah, trust me, you already know. Everybody, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. everybody get it with us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody get it with us. Yeah. So, there's women who they're, they're, they're looking to be taken care of. My thing is, okay. Good luck. Hopefully you find somebody that sees the value, might see that value and you deflect they're going to take care of you and pay for everything. Yeah. Know what I mean? But my whole thing is this. The average person, a lot of us live in like, a lot of stuff is living in delusion. Mm -hmm. A lot of people just not in touch with reality. True. The reality is most people, y'all going to have to work together to provide a decent life. Right. Right. And why wouldn't y'all put y'all money together and split, you know what I'm saying? Man, look, I'm going to say like this. Me working at my job for as long as I have, and it's a job where there's so many, like, senior, tenured people there, and I've seen people pass away. I've yet to see a relationship where the man pay 100% and it ain't it, 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 it successful. I've worked at jobs where I've seen the man might have passed away. And then the woman, like, we need to raise up money for the funeral. Well, if he's paying 100%, fuck what you doing with your bread. You would think, like... You should you should have been stashing your shit to the side. Like no, I've seen that shit, dog. Mm-hmm. Where the yeah. man might have something happened to yeah. the man, and then the woman like, I don't got nothing. I, I need help now. You need help. Yeah. But what was you doing with your money? Like you doing it? Doing it. So yeah. some people. So so at the end of the day, you gotta. What's more important to me is how are you? That's that's what I be saying. Forget all everybody worrying about how a chick looking all this and right. that. You right. gotta worry about how she is with money. True. Right. How is she with money? Yeah. That does matter. You always worry about what what a man got. No. How are you with your money? Right. You all that hollering. You're independent and all that. How are you with your money? Because I know women that are beautiful and they are terrible with money. Yeah. They no are doubt. terrible with money. No doubt. Definitely. That yeah. shit would drive you crazy with a woman that's like, yo, she's just terrible with money. Yeah. It's like, yo, you, yo, you doing, you got this job, you doing this and that, you, right. you doing all that, and your money just going, she just, it just blows. It's easy come, easy go with her. And some people yeah. just have that mentality. Some people had a mentality just, if my paycheck is $2,000, in their mind, they have $2,000 to spend. Yeah, right. That's exactly. just their mentality. Mm-hmm. So really, that's the real issue. Yeah, I want to pay the bill. Yeah, because I know people like that. I know people that OGs that worked. They would they get the overtime. They do side hustles. Right. They take they take care of everything, They're everything, and a wife don't have nothing saved. Right, and then you mad at your wife. Yeah, because your wife telling you this is my money and this is my you know um and mind your business and right. this and that and she don't have nothing because. She was just spending her money. Yeah. Because she thought she always had yours. Exactly. You know what I mean? Anybody, unfortunately, anybody can go at any time. Yeah. Then what? Yeah. So you're spending all our money, which, which a lot of people go through this too, because I have a lot of conversations with a lot of guys that's older. What frustrates them is that no matter how much they try to teach financial responsibility all that to, to, to their woman, they just in one ear and out the other. And that frustrated them that the whole time they, they went to her. They, they love this person, but they financially irresponsible. Right. That's a lot of people's problem. Right, that is. Y'all with people who are financing, who's the exact opposite of you when it comes to finances. Right. Some people just spend money like it ain't no tomorrow. Right. And that's where y'all clash. That's where people clash at. Yeah. Spend money like it ain't no tomorrow. And, sm- and, mo- and most of y'all that, that got to the, don't don't move like that. I don't... I don't move like that. I don't just spend whatever the day and I'll cross that bridge when I get to it when my bills got to get paid. What? Right. right. You know what you got damn mind thinking? I'm about to go to a store. I'm going to go to the mall and buy clothes and shit like that and go buy bottles at the club before I go pay my bills. Right. Some people live like that, though. You're right. They do. A lot of people, people don't do. worry about it till, till they hit, till they cutting the lights off. That's what they worried about it. Right. So I know a lot of women like that. Look like a million bucks. They got them, they got them lights getting cut off. Right. Oh, my phone is off right now. Your phone is off? 
How's your phone off? Yeah. Look like a million bucks, though. Yeah. Got the hair, got the whole goddamn $2,000 outfit on. Yeah. Got the shoes. See, that's my thing about it. Like, if, if we going to say I'm paying 100% because you 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 saving up for this or, you know I mean, you stacking your bread for us to get to another level, cool, I'm cool with that. But if it's, my the plan is I'm paying 100% and it's no plan because, like you said, your money is your money. What the what the benefit in that is for me? You yeah. get all the benefit out of that. Know what I mean, and now you see the result of that. You see us talking about black people that marriage has been down. Right. Black exactly. People. Right. Mar- marriage has been down. You know what I mean? That's that's the result of it. Yo, what is in this? If I'm I'm with a person where you just becoming another bill. Right. You're not even. A, you know what I mean? It's no it's no benefit. You're not coming along to be an asset. You're coming along to be another bill. True. And that's it. That's it. And that's why you see marriage is going down amongst black people, even though it's starting to go up. They they say it's starting to go up against amongst amongst other races. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Other races is getting back to the, yeah, we could talk that, but at the end of the day, we need a man. Right. That's just, see, man, the, the, the concept of that shit is so... Like I said, however anybody run their household, kudos to you. You know what I'm saying? But so the thinking of a man is supposed to protect and provide for this woman 100%. But then if this, like you said, you situation where this woman might have kids. And then you be like, well, who come first? The kids or, 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 or your man? My kids do. So the man put you 100% before anything. You put your children before him. And, and when people people go into that like, I would never put my children uh, in front of, I would never put a man in front of my children. You think that that way of thinking is that they're last. That's not, that don't mean that they're last. That just mean that, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to tend to the person that's tending to me. And then collectively we tend to the children. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They think that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand what you're saying. You know what I mean? They think that they, you you put, they putting somebody ahead of, of, of their kids. That's not, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not what he mean. Yeah, that's not what they mean. Because you got to understand, I understand those that's your child or those are your children. Right. So it's not it's not that. It's like, okay, if your kids are number one, I am 1A. I'm not even number two. Right. I got you. Yeah. Kids there are one, go. I am 1A. Right. Exactly. That I'm cool with. Yeah. I understand that. Because yeah. like, that's like my mother putting somebody ahead of me. Like, that's not going to happen. Right. You know what I mean? It could be like the same, right. but I'm going to be a little bit ahead. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like I get that, yeah. but no, we that, argue about dumb shit. Who's gonna eat? Who we who we feed first? It's, it's, back, and it's, dumb back, shit. it's back and forth banter right. for content. I get that's like why we jump shit. on them. People be acting like we bullying people. Yeah. Or something. We we bullying of a pod, we bullying of a podcasters or something like that. <laughs> like that should be dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? It, because it's just it's just back and forth banter for right. the point of content. My kids, because, my because, kids eat first. Because all right, because at the end of the day, common sense. You're supposed to serve your man first. Exactly. Yo, people be in it, but that's the, the only question it. amongst that shit is only a question amongst black people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because if you go around the other races, people, especially um, especially for like the um the Latin people and all yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, they they will look at their daughter crazy if she don't make you no plate. Oh yeah, no doubt. Like we could you could be at a block party or a cookout. Yeah. You ain't ask them, do you want something to eat? He yeah. actually got up. When I want to go get up and when I want to go get up and make oh, my no, own plate, they look like I was them. crazy. That's offensive to them. Yeah, you making your own shit? Oh no. Oh no, you know that's saying? offensive they to them. They looked up like I was crazy. Like, no, 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 no. Sit back down. You want something? She's supposed to get it. And she yeah. told her daughter because her daughter's the one that invited me. Yeah. No, ask him what he want and make his plate. Right. Right. But black woman is, I ain't gonna do all this neck and eye rolling. Yeah. Can, can you you get back to black woman? Can you make me something to eat? Your legs don't work. <laughs> oh, Something smart to say. Your legs don't work. Your hands don't work. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually the same shit. Den, 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 Dennis, right? <laughs> Dennis, Dennis. I need you to talk to my son because he not gonna be disrespecting me in my house. Okay, your brain don't work, your mouth don't work, can't talk to him. Your brain don't work as well. Now, if I say that again, <laughs> <laughs> you. You, you can't think of nothing to say to him? To get through to him? But you need me then. Right. Right. 
You you need me then, but you, you don't want to make me a plate though. I need you when I need you, black man. Right. Right. I save, don't save, need you save, until I need you. Save, save my child from the cemetery or yeah. the jail, but I don't feel like making you a plate yeah. or frying you no damn chicken. Kill me with that. You know what I mean? Don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Women you ain't gonna make the play that other woman will. They want traditional. They want traditional men, but they're not traditional women. That's right. They real. want traditional values. You, That's you, but you're a modern. But you're a modern day woman, though. Everybody scream, "I'm a modern day woman." Well, meet these modern day times. Okay. These yeah. are the modern day times. Dig it. We here together. Then you know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> see, see, see what I mean? Yeah. Now, now you don't. Now, okay, if you not traditional, okay, it's modern times. Okay, we gonna be modern then. Yeah, we gonna be modern. Nah, nah, I don't like no sassy man. Now you gotta try to, now you gotta try to degrade them and call that some shit. No, no. Nah. Yeah, I'm sassy. What, now. what, 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 right? what, 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 what make him sassy? Because he's not gonna just follow you around and just do whatever for you, and you don't give a damn about him. He's sassy. This is how crazy that, this shit is. I don't is. like that. That's sassy to say. This is how crazy this shit is. I got like a I got what? like a personal TikTok that I do, right? I connect with like a lot of motherfuckers from that joint. I just be saying random shit. So one joint I did like, I some shit, I was like top five reasons to come to Philly. And one joint was like, yeah, you come in because the restaurants is crazy, especially when you got restaurant weed. So the brothers was in there was like, I was like, yeah, especially if your lady don't know, you can take her to a five-star restaurant. She don't even know. Motherfucking, yo, the young men was in there like, no, I took my chick out the restaurant week. She got mad because it was restaurant week. Hmm? Dog, that was a lot of the comments. She got mad because I took her out during restaurant week because it was, it was restaurant week. She felt this dog was trying to like play her. So we swear to go ahead when this shit is when fucking, you know what I'm saying? Del Frisco's got the high price shit. I can't take you out during restaurant week when there's a discount. If, you know what I mean? That's the thing about it. Like, you don't just want to go out. You want to go out and say that my man took me out when we paid this and we did this. Because for women, the show of it is. Look what I did and look what you bitches can't do. Yeah. That's the show. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Look what he did for me and you bitches can't get your man to do that for you. But you running this man ragged trying to impress some motherfucker that you don't even care about. Exactly. But then it's... Yeah. Got mad he took her out on restaurant week because it was restaurant Cause week. Because it was restaurant week, dog. Got mad. I was saying? like, damn, that's crazy, yo. Then you wonder why some of these dudes are starting to uh, start starting to check out a relationship and everything is just about the hookup culture. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I just whenever I whenever I need some, that's what I'm gonna do. Right. Don't don't tell me bother with y'all is when the only time we bother when the chick is when I wanna get between the legs. Then it's oh you can't build the black fan that way, no, y'all can't the dudes a bunch of dogs. Well, what is it's like how the hell are you gonna win? Right. You trying to build with somebody that don't want to build with you. They want you to already have it. And this is my whole thing about when people say, when men say, oh, I'm I raised my daughter to, to only be the guy that's going to pay 100% of the bills. All right, now, but then on the, the flip side, you don't, a lot of fathers don't want no, don't want their woman being with a, their daughter being with a man that's older. True. Well, who the hell going to have the money? True. If I just got them 20 years old, what 21, 20, I mean 20, 21, 22 year old gonna have it like that? Man, that's or somebody young will even have it like that to pay all of it. And the, so and then, the men that's doing that, shout out to y'all. Are you doing that? A oh. lot of them, a lot of them probably not, but because we gotta get into it. Yeah. Motherfuckers is hypocrites. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, are you we all doing are hypocrites? I mean, Come on, men, fam. Men, men, men are hypocrites in life. True. We are. We are. All right, you know what I mean? Once people want stuff they don't do for their woman, be done for their daughter because, okay, you want better for your daughter. Because mm-hmm. really, that's where it comes from. Like, cause because you're right. Most of them probably can't know that way. Yeah. That's why they want a man to do it. But at the same time, you put in a position is, okay, now if she brings somebody home that's the same that's the same age as her. Say she in college. She brings somebody home that's the same age as her. All right. He ain't really got it. They ain't really got it. Right. But you can see, you talk to him, he intelligent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He know what he want out of life. He seems solid. You're going to say, no, because he can't pay all the bills right now? Right. He can't pay all the bills. Okay, so she went in. So when I go out there and go get a goddamn 40-year-old, then you mad about it. Right. Somebody twice a damn age, you mad about it. He too damn old. He robbing the cradle. Well, you told her to go out there and go get somebody who could pay all the bills. Right. So that's who she found. 
She left the dude alone because he didn't have nothing. That's the, that was probably a perfect match for her. They could have, you know what I mean, rolled, rolled through life together and got all that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't understand what they're doing. A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all, we be blaming the women for that stuff, for, for, for grooming. A lot of y'all men be grooming. Yeah. Some of y'all be grooming y'all daughters to go out there in the world and lay down with a grown ass man. True. Because some of y'all be putting that in their heads. It's not, it's, it's not, it's not just the women in their family that be putting that in their head. Yeah. To go be the man that got something. Some of y'all putting that in y'all daughters. Some of y'all men putting that in y'all daughters' heads. Yeah. Then you wonder why she out there with somebody twice her damn age. Or you wonder why she's 16 and she's not going to the movies and going to McDonald's and going to Chick-fil-A. She's somewhere with a damn 30-year-old right. or a 35-year-old or a 40-year-old. Because you done put in her goddamn head that she only be with somebody who has something. Right. So she's skipping all that prom and all that. She hopping in the bed with a grown ass man. Now you ready to go shoot somebody and kill somebody. Right. He doing what you asked him to do though. He's taking, he taking care of 100%. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, he's taking care of 100%. So you mad? Because he's taking care of 100%. What do you no, do? But you, yeah, but you, yeah, but you the one that put that in her head. Right. Go find somebody who can take care of me. Right. Now chances are, how many people the same age are going to be able to take care of her? Right. So it's a lot of y'all men. I mean, we are quick to jump jump down. Oh, no, that the problem with y'all mothers and grandmothers and aunties teaching these women to only go after somebody that got money, only deal with somebody because they got money or they can do this and that. You no, know, it's a lot of the men do that too. It is. I told my daughter, don't even be with somebody who... Who can pay all the bills? Okay, that's why your goddamn daughter is 19, 19 with a 45 year old. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Your daughter out there, somebody the same damn age as you. You out here mad at night, now you mad. Then he better not come in my house, that nigga right. gonna get shot. Right. He come up in my damn house, grown ass man. Right. Grown ass man. What the fuck you seeing a little girl like that? Right. Now she a little girl. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, we gotta be careful what we ask for. We ask for we ask for a ton of shit. Don't know what come with it. Because what do you what do you do in a situation? Be careful with, what you wish for. You just might get it. Let's say let's say it's a situation where yeah, you know I mean your daughter happened to do, happen to do find a man around her age. He paying hundred percent. Now you out. You see him with another chick. Do you say that's wrong? He paying hundred percent though. You know what I'm saying? You 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 out. You see yeah, him because if it was see if if it because. Is wrong because that's his daughter, but right. that was his son. Oh yeah, yeah. it's cool. Yeah, he, he living a life. Told you we hypocrites. Yeah, we are. We, we gotta are. take accountability for the fact that men are hypocrites. Yeah, you know what are. I'm saying? When women are bitches and hoes until you get a daughter. Right. Women are still bitches and hoes to you, but you just don't say it. Right. But your daughter's not. Right. You've been playing chicks and using chicks, and that's what you've been doing your whole life. But you don't want nobody doing that to your daughter. Right. Yeah. Man, are, man, are hypocrites, hypocrites like a mother. Yeah, we are. We big hypocrites. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm ready to go. Listen, better not put his hands on my daughter. You've been combing your daughter mother's head for as long as y'all been together. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of that just hypocritical stuff by by us. Yeah, you know what I mean. Some people be careful what you wish for, y'all. Some some of y'all grooming y'all daughter because I. I seen was it a TikTok? I was on I was well I was on Twitter, but I'm not I'm not I'm not on TikTok, but I was on mm. Twitter. I think it was a TikTok. But they that they, um it was about a girl that been with she's like 26 now and the guy's like 41 now. Mm. But she been with the dude since she was 16 and he was 31. Mm. She ain't said she had like six kids with him. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Some of y'all, some of y'all gonna know the TikTok I'm talking about. So, and she was talking about how, you know, how he treated her and all this and that. And now, you know, she got six kids and she got to figure, you know, life out and all this stuff now. Because they're not the governor more? I guess not. Okay. Okay. Damn. And then everybody in the comments is, was, was, was automatically blaming the guy. He groomed her. Right? So, so this is what I know. You know what I mean? When I comment, a lot of times I don't even get no mention of nothing back. I said, well, it lacks context. The story needs more context because... We need to find out why she like that. Does she like that just because 
that was she was just determined to be with who she wanted to be with, and she didn't care about what nobody said. True. You know what I mean? She could have been groomed, but was she groomed by her own family? Was it her mother, her auntie, her grandmother, True. somebody, or did he grew, actually groom her? Because you could be groomed by the people in your own family. Right. So how do we know that her own family, that's how they raise her? Because he was like, yeah, you know, because she was like, yeah, you know, my dad is helping me now and stuff like that. Well, was your dad opposed to that at the time that, right. you know, he started being, you was 16, that's right. 31 right. year old. Right. And everybody tell him, mind his business and you don't know nothing. Right. And just cut the damn check and pay child support or whatever. Because a lot of men get treated like that. A lot of men, your opinion don't mean shit. Dennis, this grown ass man put his hands on your daughter. Right. Come shoot him. Right. Right. But the whole time you was, I mean, your opinion didn't mean shit when you were saying like, yo, that's not right. That's not cool. No, mind your fucking business and don't worry about what's going in this house. Yeah. Yeah. You over there with that bitch. You just stay over there. Right. Your opinion don't mean nothing. Right. Until something happened, then you supposed to come running. You know what I mean? I know a lot of y'all men go through that. Your opinion don't mean nothing. But as soon as something happened, come running to help. You're expected to. Right. And you sitting there like, yo, I was against this opposed from the whole time. Didn't nobody give a damn about what I was saying. Right. Now it's, oh, you see how she's he treating your daughter? Yeah. What you going to do about it? Well, I'm going to do about it. I told him not. I've been saying she shouldn't mess with this motherfucker since yeah. from the beginning. Because you know, didn't but, matter then, right? In black culture, advice advice has to come with something. You know what I'm saying? Like if you see somebody kid doing something, yo, he shouldn't do that. You pay my bills, shut the fuck up. Then it gotta come with something. It can't just be like, yeah, you're right. You shouldn't be doing that. You know what I mean? It's always, do you pay my bills? Well, then shut the fuck up. Then I gotta do extra to give you the advice. You know what I mean? It's always some dumb shit there. Do you yeah, take yeah. care of him? Yeah. Well, then don't worry about it then. You know what I'm saying? Like, Are you his father? Yeah, some dumb shit. Like, okay. It always got to come with some extra shit. Okay. It can't just be the advice because, yo, yo, so your son, you, I saw your son down the street with them young boy. He should be down there with them. Them niggas is crazy. Do you take care of him? Right. Are you his dad? Okay. Oh, all right. You all right. right. I'm just trying to, all you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you're out spending every goddamn Saturday riding up to the jail to go see him. Yeah. Yeah, like our, our advice is not just valid just to get advice. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's, right. that's the thing I hate fuck, about yeah. that shit, it's, yo. Yeah, because it's, it's fuck you till I need you. Right, right. Then it's, you, I need to be the big, are you in the big brother program? Because you, because <laughs> these kids need got. oh, you talking about the same kids when I say something to them, the first thing you going to say is, are you his father? Okay. Right. All right. You're right, because I'm not putting up my house when his ass get arrested. Rested. Right. He's he gonna be looking at you to put up your goddamn house. Right. And you to find money for a goddamn lawyer. You know what the first thing you're gonna tell your child? I ain't got that money. I don't have no money. I got bills to pay. What? But when a man was out here trying to set him straight, it was mind your business and you don't pay no bills in here and you ain't his dad. Okay. Right. All right. Go on and suffer. Yeah. For go, real. go on and goddamn suffer because nobody could tell your ass any goddamn thing. Can't nobody tell you shit, okay? Yeah. Okay. Let me go mind my business and go about my life. Right. Young boy, good luck to you. Right. That's why it's dangerous. Like, I always tell my motherfucking daughters, you got to be careful. You got to do background checks on motherfuckers because even when we growing up, I'm learning this. Me growing up, being a man, you could deal with a woman that... Uh, when we was young, it was like, yo, my dad ain't around. You be like, damn, that's what's up. That's the layup. I don't even got to worry about your pops and shit. When you young, you think that's thorough. You know what I'm saying? When you grow up, you realize this woman ain't never had no male instruction in her life. And now me trying to be this male instructor in her life, she going against this shit because she's never had that. Right. I can be like, yo, we can't do that because, you know what I'm saying, we need this money for this. You can't tell me what to fucking do with my money. Because she's never had that male instructor in her life. And now she see you as controlling. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so that's what I'm saying. You got to you gotta really yeah, do your best. Trying, he trying to control exactly. you. Exactly. What? <laughs> we got fucking bills. We got shit to do. Like, he trying to control. <laughs> he trying to control you. <laughs> yeah. Because those going to be saying bitches that ain't got no money to help you out when you got a negative account balance. <laughs> right. and, they come in and, they, and they come in and repo that motherfucking car that I told you ass you shouldn't buy because you can't afford the note. <laughs> right. Right. Oh, you really got to be careful. Like, you know what I'm saying? They, 
they're gonna be the same one that tell you that they they, they can't they can't swing by and pick you up and take you to work. Right. Cause they repo your damn car. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm telling listen, man. So all this goddamn yeah, man, all this stuff is 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 is, is entangled in this. Like oh, the yeah. whole can somebody pay your goddamn bills and, and, see, and, and, see and do I pay 50 50 any goddamn thing? Oh, but oh. but like you said, like you said, going back, it's cool now because you need us now. Before, when the government was implementing shit and it was like, the man can't be in the house if you want to get this type of, you know what I'm saying, these, this government funding. Get him the fuck out of here then. That's what we was doing. Push the black man out of the house so we can get this government funding, we can get this welfare, we can get this, we can get that, we can get this. Now, when that shit starts to cease, Black man, we need you, and we need you to pay 100%. Wait a minute. When I was trying to be the fucking provider in the household that you wanted me to be, it was get the fuck out of the house because the government going to pay for me. You know what I mean? The government going to take care of me. Now, when that shit start to dwindle down, now we need the black man in the house. You start to dwindle down because we, cause, cause we realizing we don't want to be bothered with y'all because now we got the damn, we got the immigrants coming in. We got to do for them because we, we, we do a little bit for them. They going to be loyal. Yeah. Y'all. Yeah. Y'all bucking. Yeah. So we taking our stuff away and now it's oh uh, you know the black men, where are y'all at? <laughs> black men ain't even showing up to these singles events. Why would he? Why would he? Yeah. Why? Why would they? Why would they? Yeah. You want them to show up for you though. Nah. I'm gonna move a man gonna move how he wanna move. Right. Control his own destiny. No, y'all not using them as no goddamn utilities no more. Yeah. Know what I mean? Men, 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 men are starting to refuse to be get used as utility. And that's yeah. what's happening. And yeah. then now things are starting to, you know, get shaky. Yeah. Because y'all used to always have them. I don't, I don't want to fuck you, but I want to be able to use you for anything else. Yeah. But I don't want to be, I don't want to give you no love and affection though. Okay, now people are starting to wake up. Men are starting to wake up from that. Right. So, you know what I mean? But, but yeah, man, the whole, yeah, yeah, yeah. Men are goddamn hypocrites. We are. Yeah, man, man. Men are hypocrites. You do a bunch of stuff to women that you wouldn't want somebody to do to your daughter. Right. You treat a woman the way that you wouldn't want a man to treat your daughter. Right. Or your mother. You know. You know what I mean? You got different women every day of the week, but you wouldn't want your daughter name to be Tuesday in some dude's phone. Right. You be upset yeah. about that. Like you said, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Now I mean your daughter was dating somebody and you seen him, you'll be mad at him. You'd be mad as shit. You know, what was you doing? You ain't able to never who did listen, young boy, listen, you ain't be playing my daughter and all this and that. You know what I mean? That's disrespectful and all. When you probably doing that your whole damn life. Exactly. You know what I mean? You probably got a side chick right now. You probably ain't cheating, you know what I'm saying? You probably got a side chick right now. Right. You, <laughs> you cheating on your daughter, mom, right now? Yeah. But don't let nobody do that to your daughter, though. No, you upset? Not at all. Yeah, a lot of that is hypocritical. We are. A lot of that is hypocritical. That man needs to pay all the bills. When have you ever paid all the bills? Yeah. When have you ever done that shit? You telling him what he should do? When have when when when, when did you do that? You got men that saying that they probably never pay all the bills. Yeah, but but you got to think about it. Those are the men that know once she leave this household. I'm not even, I'm barely financially stable enough to take care of her mother. Her mother run this shit over here. So when she leave, me being a man of the household, I can't take care of you. You gotta find another nigga to do that. You mm. know what I'm saying? Mm. So that's why, that's why his way of thinking is that you gotta find a man that's going, cause I can't, if you going, if you, you move out and you get into a pinch and you like, that I need help with my motherfucking rent, me too. He looking at you like, me too. Mm -hmm. Dad, they about to come repossess my car. Mine's too. He can't help you for shit. So his mindset is that the best that I can tell you is find a motherfucker to take care of you because it's not me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's the reality of it. You know what I'm saying? You got to find somebody that's going to do for you. It ain't me because I can't, I can barely do for my fucking self. He still got an immature mindset type motherfucker that go out. He want to, you know what I'm saying, uh, be out all day with motherfuckers and shit, partying and shit. So, you know, his mindset, that's where he at. He still want to do him. You know so, yeah, but this whole Bill's thing is like, that whole thing is like, it's people, listen, listen to people online who their whole goal is to find 
a lot of a lot of women that I hear talking about that is women who they just trying to find somebody with a bunch of money so they can do the least they got the do the least in life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Remember, remember out here it's the whole it's the whole like struggle to the whole thing of do anything except have to get a nine to five job. Well, we gotta try to find a rich man. You gotta be on you gotta be on OnlyFans. Taking footlongs, whatever you gotta do, whatever you gotta do. <laughs> whatever these shit gotta do. Yo, tough. I mean, whatever these shits gotta do to not have to get a nine to five job, they will. Because let me pivot for a second to something else. The the whole thing about the dude that was, I guess the uh the dude that does porn or whatever. Right. And uh, uh, allegedly he uh affected some um some women with herpes. Uh, a woman yeah, with herpes. I saw that. Now I mean is is claiming that she that she courted from him, and you know, and it's a whole big thing. Now I mean I know what y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. So, so the stuff been going on the last week that everybody been talking about. But you think about some of the stuff is like. Well, are, are y'all are y'all make sure y'all go through the proper protocols to test somebody and stuff like that? But you know what I mean, are y'all just doing whatever because everybody, 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 everybody do that thinking though. I want to get all right. This person gonna pay me to do right. this scene, or this scene gonna do this many yeah. numbers, and this can help me out. And it's just I'm doing whatever I gotta do. People taking a lot of risks, so they don't have to go get no damn real job. Right. So if I gotta be out here having unprotected sex with people and doing all these scenes. That to make my to make whatever your OnlyFans better and all that to make people want to buy it, or, not, not me or pay the money, whatever I got to do to not go get it, cause that's what I feel like it is. I feel like it's just we out here doing whatever we got to do to not have to go get a real job. Yeah, I'm 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 willing to put my health, my life at risk, all of that to not have to go get a real job. Yeah, but that's because of the 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 the, the rhetoric that you hear though. If you hear if you grew up your whole life and you hear a man should pay hundred percent, you not even preparing yourself to be. The going to the workforce to work. Like when we was young, we had jobs when we was young. Like, don't get me wrong, we had a great childhood. We played and shit. But then it was certain points like, all right, now it's time to get a gig. All that ripping and running in the street we did, we gotta get a job. We was just so we already knew that as being young men. You know what I'm saying? When we had a free time to do whatever we want to do, we'll do that, but we still get we got we had jobs early on. You know what I mean? And, and stayed in the workforce and working and working and working. If you're a little girl, you like, man, I'm just going to wait for that motherfucker to pay me. They're just going to take care of my shit. You're not even, then when it's time to, 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 to fucking work, you ain't been groomed to know what to do or go through the motherfucking motions. You just like, I'm wore out. Wore out. You only been here like three months. <laughs> First of all, you ain't got 40 more years of getting up and going to work every day. Yo, chicks don't even be 30 yet talking about they burnt out. You be seeing them TikToks? They be in the car. They be in the TikTok in the car like, I just, I can't. I can't. Oh, good God. But you like 25. But you got like 30 more years ago. Burnt out. No, they be burnt out young. No, no. they be done. Y'all right, you are, hey, no. equal, equal rights, right? No. That's what you wanted. They be fucking you done, wanted. dog. They be breaking down. <laughs> you know how much a car no exits? I don't know my way to work now. I just got off. I literally closed my eyes and it was already time. It's already time to get up and go to work again. I can't. You wanted to be it, right? You could do anything a man could yeah. do, right? Dog. They burnt the fuck out. Dog. Already. They are done, dog. Dog, they ain't even 30 years old yet. <laughs> you know how long you gotta go? I wanted to go to like, like 70 before y'all retire. Yeah. Y'all like 25. Dog. They, that's why they that's why they need a motherfucker that's gonna pay 100 percent They need that, dog. L- listen, listen, listen. You better come with the intangibles and be able to get that. You're right. You know what I mean? So you can get that. You're right. You think you're going to get that just because you want it? Listen. Some of y'all probably don't even qualify for that. A lot of these minor women don't even know how to cook in the, in the motherfucking kitchen. Yo, don't qualify for that. I'm going to pay for what? Okay. <laughs> yeah, dog, Okay, baby. now what you doing to qualify for that, for, that, for that man that got it like that? Right. They be stressed out, dog. They be stressed the fuck out, man. 
This life is life is kicking their ass. Yo, life is kicking they back in. <laughs> oh, like, oh they be in a, they be in the car in them TikTok videos. Duh. Like, yo, just just to just to get up and go to work and just and just make I mean just, just the basic shit. Yeah. They just struggling with that. They just struggling with basic shit. But do you know what's crazy? Not even like life events that's like emergencies and none of that. Yeah. Family crap. Just the basic, I gotta get up. I gotta do this shit and I gotta maintain. This but, shit burning me out. But life, life fucking always gives them an out because even in the comments, it's like, keep your head up, girl. Keep going. It's gonna be all right. Yeah, we man. praying for yeah, you. Yeah, we praying for yeah, you. Yeah, we praying for you. But then in the same hand, the, the Instagram joint, I know you probably saw it because this should be everywhere. Joe, Roy Jones, maybe talking to another boxer. And then we'll be like, I don't want to do it. He's like, it don't matter if you want to do it. You got to do it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. God, and then the joint, yo, I'll be reading the comments. Well, like, boy, sound soft. That nigga sound weak. Look at him. He already did it. He in bitch mode right now. But when women go through that same mode, they like, yo, keep your head up, girl. Keep pressing. Yeah. It's going to be all right. We praying for you. That's how the world view us. Yeah, 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 because it's 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 because women are emotional. So tell yeah. tell them something that's gonna make her feel better. Right. Don't tell don't tell what you should tell. Tell something to make her feel better. Right. That's you know how what I'm saying? Gonna feel you. Don't tell her, listen, listen, stop bitching. <laughs> that'd be mean that'd be mean and insensitive if you said that to her. No, but it would be. Stop bitching because ain't nobody gonna take care of you but you. You but te- we tell we as men, we tell each other that all the time, though. Right, yeah. No you problem. ain't got nobody. Ain't nobody coming to save you. Nobody at all, bro. You got to get it up. When, when it comes to being a man, people quick to tell you that. Ain't nobody coming to save you, man. Right. Now, I mean, you got to do it. Right. Now, I mean, you got to do it. But no, nah, we'll tell the woman, we're praying for you, yeah. okay? Yeah. How come you, you're not going to pray for me? Yeah. <laughs> As a man, I'm just supposed to get it done. I'm going to get it done on regards yeah, of how bro. I feel. Anybody going to pray for me? <sighs> The crazy thing about it, like, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, 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 I think 50 said this shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, somebody depressed. He's like, to be depressed is a privilege. Mm-hmm. But he can say that because as a man, I don't got time to say that I'm depressed and I'm going to wild yeah. on my shit. I yeah. got to get busy. Yeah, so even if I'm depressed, that shit don't mean nothing because I still got to yeah. act and shit. Yeah. That shit is a privilege that I don't have to say that, yo, man, mentally I'm fucked up right there. Right. Time off. Right. Right, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna go missing from work. Right, <laughs> my boy just go missing. Yeah, yo, I just like I was going through it, right. and I'm guilty. I'm, yo, and I, I'm guilty of that too. I'll be jumping on the motherfucker. I'm like, listen, what is you talking about? We all going through it. <laughs> my boy be acting like you ain't person that show up in this joint every morning. Like everybody else is just, <laughs> yo, fucking Monday, we in here, baby. Ain't nobody hyped up about him to be here. Ain't the only person that don't want to do this shit. But people are like, they're the only person going through it. Like, you got to do it. Yeah. Y'all be like, yo, this, I just can't do it. You got to be here every day and then do it. Fam, you, you a man, bro. Right. You think, think we all in here? Everybody here just happy to be here? Right, right. You're doing what you got to do in life, man. Yeah, you're right. It you're is doing what you got to do, bro. You're not the only person that feel like that. Right. But your bill's not going to stop. No, it's not. How you just dis- would just be disappearing? Yeah. They're coming trying to get their job back. Like, dog, you were like, you was missing an action on yeah, these people. Yeah, in this joint. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm trying to, trying to get, come in. I'm trying to get back in here. I told you don't leave. Right. So now you depressed. Now you depressed with no money. Right. So even worse off than you was before. Right. You don't yeah. see everybody in here happy go lucky like that. That's how we feel. We think life is just fucked up for us. Life fucked up for everybody, then, bro. You then, just gotta get busy. Then the thing is, the motherfuckers that do come, that do come and be seen like they happy go lucky, they be the motherfuckers that you find out they at home combing their wife's head. <laughs> like, yo, he happy all the time no matter what it is. It could be Monday morning, pouring down raining, and you gotta drag your ass to work. He the only one happy. You find out, oh, okay, he take it out on his wife. Like who? Who got arrested Yo, with domestic violence? Dog. Such and such. Yeah, they locked him up tomorrow. That's he was on his way. That's crazy. Like, yo, ain't no way. That's crazy. Yeah, yo. Locked up for beating on his wife. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, 
Nah, yo. I'm telling you, it'd be people like stuff like that. That's crazy, yo. Listen, man. I don't know if I told y'all this. I went, yo, I used to work with a person that killed his girlfriend and kept coming to work for a few what? days after that. Killed, killed his girlfriend. Killed his girlfriend and kept coming to work. Damn, dog. That's wild, yo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you never know who the fuck you work beside, yo. Listen, Damn. Listen. Listen. Sometimes it's unfortunate. But y'all better need to, y'all better learn when to shut the fuck up. No, you're right about that. I agree with you on that. Some of y'all pushing somebody buttons and all this and that. So, and making a person feel all right worse than all it is. What they doing ain't enough. That shit, motherfucker, that motherfucker said he snapped. Dog. And he ain't know what to do with the body, so he just put the body in the freezer. Damn. So he just put the body in the freezer. But then, you know, of course, eventually the, the people that, the neighbors, you know, you're going you're gonna to smell it. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? When the power went out, you smelled the body. Eventually, you know, of course, for fiolas that that never that, that that never smelled the dead body, you know what I mean? Worst smell in the world. Pray, 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 pray that you never do. Cause yeah. that like that shit was like that shit is like unreal. Yeah. Like that shit literally like it literally feel like you can't breathe. That's mm. how bad it, it smell. You know what I'm saying? Like if you get to or uh, or you around and the smells in the air. It'll be like in your clothes to the point that even if you wash your clothes, your clothes still smell like that. Like I had to throw my clothes away when my grandmother passed away. Yeah. I had to throw my clothes away. Yeah. Because you no know, matter how much I washed them, it's, they still they still kind of smelt like that. I feel That's you. how I know that shit's like supernatural. Cause I ain't never smelled like that. We had to rip the carpet up in the house because the carpet smelled like that. Mm. Damn. Like, like I had to throw, <laughs> like I had to throw my shoes away. Cause my shoes smelled like that. Damn. That shit is unreal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, that shit is unreal. You know what I mean? But, yeah, man. Um, yeah, that shit's crazy, yo. You really, you really do. <clears throat> shit, we were talking about movies in the beginning of this joint. That's kind of like that joint, that new joint was on Netflix called Unhinged. I don't know if you watched that. I heard about it. Yeah, that joint it. started out. My man just, like, went to his ex-crib and, like, killed her. That's how it started out. He went to his, his ex wife house, killed her and the boy she was with. I left there, and he's just going about his daily activities. And uh, the lady who's like, you know I mean, the star of the movie, she just beeping a horn at him, like, move your car. Come around him, and he pulled up beside her, like, yo, you, you, you supposed to give me a friendly tap first. Don't just go all crazy. She's like, I got shit to do. So now, because she, she, she feel like my, what I got to do is more important than what you're going through, now he flipping, like, oh, yeah. He's like, she's like, yeah, I'm having a bad day. He's like, you don't even know what a bad day is, but I'm going to show you. Hmm. So now his whole thing is his whole day. He going through his day killing people that she know. Like, that's what he doing, dog. He killing people that she know. He following her. She went to like a gas station. She like, she like you. You the only other motherfucker I know to do this. Don't lock their phone and shit. Phone just open. You know what I mean? So she went to the gas station. Her phone in the car. He grabs her phone. Go on her phone. She, yeah, she got a meeting with such and such. He go there before him. He act like he the bull. Some lawyer bull. He kill bull in the restaurant. Restaurant full of people. Banging his head on the table. Bow, bow, bow. Full of people. Killed him. Walk out the joint. She come in the joint. He dead. And he caught, he caught, because he got her phone. So he called her on some phone he left in the car. Like, yeah, now I'm going to show you what a bad day is. I'm going to kill everybody that you know. Go to her crib. Kill her boyfriend's girlfriend. Kill, I mean, kill her brother's girlfriend. Kill her brother. That's his whole day. I'm just gonna make it. You, you say I'm gonna let you know what a bad day feel like. Yeah, so that's you gotta really be careful, man. Some motherfuckers, you don't know what they going through. And all he wanted was an apology. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He did all that because he wanted an apology, dog. So you really, you right. You gotta be careful, man. Life kicking everybody in the ass, man. Life is it's kicking everybody in the ass. You just gotta, you gotta respond though. You can't just can't just let that shit do it. You got to respond. And the response can't be, I need a motherfucker that's going to take care of me. You know what I'm saying? I need a motherfucker going to pay 100%. Because now you put this man out in the field, I'm taking care of me, you, 
And then whatever expense you gonna add to that shit. Yeah, but then yeah, yeah, but then the other side, I was thinking about the flip side is some 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 people just can't cut it in life, man. Oh, you're right. People just can't cut it in life. And maybe a person that's saying that, telling their daughter that, may know. Like my daughter is not my daughter not no go getter. Man. You know what I'm saying? My, Collateral my, 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 damage, man. Yo, I'm sorry. Yo, yo, my daughter. Some some people just not go getters. They just they they gonna struggle with they, their whole life because they just don't have the fortitude to do what they gotta do to survive. Like they don't have it. So if I gotta get up and go to work and I gotta, you know what I'm saying? And just stay disciplined so I can make sure I pay my some people just don't have it. Some people just function, they just can't function in life. Some people just can't. You know what I mean? I know dudes like that. Like they just can't function in life. It's like, yo, as a man, you should okay, you gotta go to work. Make sure you got the money to take care of yourself and pay the bills and then as a man, you also help other people from time to time. That's yeah. just what it, that's just life for a man. But the same situation. Some people just can't. The they just can't. Got to, it's hell true for them though. If you a man and your father was never in your life and you had never had a male figure in your life, all you did was see how a woman react to certain issues. That's how you react. Yeah. Like, so, like you yeah, know, but we, some of them got men. Some some, some got them fathers do. too because they, see, yeah, yeah. Some 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 is that, and some of them just like, like I say, man, I'm not a father, but. I know some of y'all just got to try to do the best y'all can and hope that y'all children, you teach them the right thing, you hope that they hold on to that. Because sometimes your children can be the exact opposite of you. Oh, yeah. That's going to happen. That's going to happen. Some of your children can just be the exact opposite That's of gonna you. That's going to happen. You have multiple you, you, kids. Yeah, you yeah, run into one of them. Yeah, yeah. You can get yeah. them to go to work every day, try to do the right thing, and your son just grow up and just, okay, I'm just going to be a goddamn criminal. Yeah. I ain't got no reason to be a goddamn criminal. I ain't never went for nothing. Mm-hmm. This is just well, this is a choice I'm just gonna make in life. I know people like that who just they just they just chose to do wrong. Right. They come from great families. They just chose this is what I'm gonna do with my life. And can't nobody tell me no different. You know what I mean? Just like some of y'all men out there that y'all try to be a great a great example for your daughter. Your daughter grow up and go be the guy that's the exact opposite of y'all. Oh yeah, yeah. I know a lot of I grew up with a lot of women like that. Mm-hmm. They fathers is thorough, stand up men, and the dudes they chose to be with is the exact opposite. The dudes they chose to be with couldn't tie their father's shoes. Mm. You be sitting there like, this the man you chose? He ain't nothing like your pop. Your pop thorough, right? And will go against her whole family and go against her own father to love this. Is talking about she loved this dude. Dude ain't shit. Dude ain't shit. And will go against her father like that man ain't just love you, take care of you, will kill or die to protect you, give his whole life for you. Like none of that shit matters. So I feel for some of y'all because some of y'all raising kids that no matter how great of a parent you are, they're going to be fuck ups. Yeah. They're not going to be able to survive. They're going to struggle in life. They're not going to they they do the right thing no matter how True. good you try to raise them and none of that. You True. know what I'm saying? Some people just decide True. that I'm just going to do whatever. Or I'm just going to check out on life and I'm not going to try too hard. Life is just too tough. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like trying. And just like, damn. You know what I mean? I know, I, I, I know some women. I'm like, it ain't no way in the world... That's the guy you chose after being raised by your father. Right. How do they? How do he even get the time of day from you? How? Because sometimes when you're a child, the perspective of what what giving me what I needed is not what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? My pop might have gave me everything that I needed, but that ain't what I wanted. I might have always had some shoes on, but they wasn't the J's. You know what I'm saying? I might have oh, I might have always ate, but that ain't the shit that I wanted. We ain't never go out. So motherfuckers kid in their head as a child in your head, you don't you, you, do. you do you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's it's people I know that the reason why they why 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 they went out their hustle is to get name brand stuff. Exactly. But you always had what you needed, but you want what you want. Right. Yeah. Right. So some people out there that's gonna go out there and do that. Cause I'd be like, yo, some of these motherfuckers I know, I'm like, yo, that shit don't really matter to me because I didn't have that shit my whole life. I didn't right. have drugs my whole life. So right. I'm not one of the people that I gotta go out there and sell drugs because I need such and such name brand because I had it my whole life. Right. Do I get everything I want? No, but I had shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of them people that I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do to get it and then it's I'm out there risking my life for a pair of sneakers, certain pair of sneakers. But you know, no, but I had that my whole life though. You absolutely right. Cause I ain't gonna tell you, I'll tell you no lie. My grandfather, you know what I'm saying? And you know my family, my cousins and everything. My grandfather told me and all my little cousins, like, don't go out here chasing shit because 
even though it's a Benz that you want right now, they're going to make a new one next year. Mm -hmm. So you don't got to chase that shit because they're going to make a new one next year. Then after they're going to make a new one. So take patience yeah. of it. But even in me, I'm like, y'all, he right. I'm not going to do everything. I'm not going to do everything to rush shit. Mm -hmm. My cousin was like, fuck that. We need it now. Mm -hmm. We all got the same grandpa. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He told me the same yeah. shit that he told y'all. Mm -hmm. But they're like, no, I need that shit now. I heard what you said, but I need that shit now. Yeah. So you're right. I know what yeah. you mean. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah. Yes, a lot of motherfuckers is dead in jail because they wanted the Mercedes Benz back in the 80s. Right. Yeah. Like, no, nah, eventually, you know, you can build yourself up and buy one. Just like, I ain't going to buy a Mercedes Benz now, but I was, but I wanted one back then. Mm -hmm. So I was going to go go out the street and I realized, yeah, all right, when I get one, I get one. Right. They're not going to stop making them. Yeah. When I, when I get one, I get one. Right. You got people that was worried about that then. Stuff that, man, some some people have died and went to jail trying to get shit that's out of style now. Yep. Yeah, damn, yeah, you're right. That's for, now, that's for, crazy. For, for clothes that's out of style now, clothes if you wear that shit now, crazy. people yeah. will laugh at you. That's crazy. A nigga doing more time right. than the fucking trend of what you wanted stayed in yeah. style. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. You're right. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, how many people in the Jones. 80s? <laughs> how, now, I mean, how many people in the 80s wanted a goddamn Fila sweatsuit? Right. And some matching shoes. And they went out there and sold drugs. Now they and they, and they, and they, and they dead in jail for it. Right. For and doing something to get style it. style no more. For something that if you wore right now. Damn. Most, most people will laugh at you and say, man, it's old school ass nigga. Man, what you doing? <laughs> right. He can't even he can't even come out of jail with this shit on. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you ever see people who come home from jail that been in jail and no, no, the only clothes they got is stuff that's not like in style. Yeah. They yeah. just came home from jail. Yeah. Damn, dog. You right. They, they be wearing, they they literally be wearing stuff that's out of style, and then now you sitting around. Yo, I need this and I need that. This shit ain't even the style. And this is not. Yeah, now I feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Damn, dog, you right. Because remember in um, what's what's the show um, remember in Power, mm -hmm. right when, when um, when Fifty um, Fifty was Canaan, of course number Fifty's Canaan, and remember they was like. He switched his clothes up. And he started wearing the clothes that that, that everybody wear now. Yeah. He was like, yeah, because you was wearing some old school stuff. He's like, yeah, but now I mean, he switched up, started wearing the clothes that I was wearing now. Because he came out of jail on some shit that he was wearing back when he right, right went to jail. Like, that shit yeah. ain't style no more. That's how a lot of dudes be. You know what I mean? Y'all went to goddamn jail with fucking with jeans with Fat Albert on the back pocket. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Yo. Yo. Niggas in there with the cross color shirts on. <laughs> Yo, doing whatever you gotta do for something that if you wore now, people look at you like you're crazy. That's shit wild, dog. You know what oh, I mean? Man. Yeah, fat, fat up on the back of the back Yo. of the pockets. You know what I mean? Yo, that's you know wild, I mean? dog. Niggas going to jail for that shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we are. You know what I'm saying? We, we really are. Hey, look at the fucking drip. <laughs> look at the drip. It's a fucking trip. Yo, dog. Trends that came and went so fast, I don't even know why we chased them yo, shits. Because, yo, man, because I we, don't know why we chased them shit. Dog, shits. shit done went out and came back in. That's what I'm saying. Stuff done went out and came back in. Remember, remember when you said the jackets and the shirts and the hats and all that? They had like all the football teams, all the basketball yeah, yeah, teams. Yeah. That shit like went out and then came back in. Right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't it ain't nothing new. You just recycling the same stuff. Yeah. You know Damn. what I'm saying? Yeah, so, man, that's wild, yo. Yeah, but um, damn, we went all over the place with this joint. But uh, yeah, that's crazy to me, man. When you think, yeah, because he right, he right, and that's how I feel like. No, when I get one, I get one. Know what I mean, yeah. now if I'm older, when I get one, well, no, it's people that die. No, I gotta get that shit now. Right. And they, no, they been going. There's people I know that been going, man. I'm, we we in our forties. That been going twenty years, man. Mm -hmm. Already, they been going twenty years already. Mm -hmm. Cause they determine that no, I'm gonna get a Mercedes Benz and I'm gonna get a Rolex. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, Rolexes, they ain't going to stop making Rolexes, bro. They damn sure not. All right, you may not be 20 when you get one. You might be 30 when you get one. Right. You might be 40 when you get one. You know what I'm saying? You really do got people that was out here for stuff that you look at like it's crazy right now. Like, y'all need to sell jokes so y'all can get the goddamn, the, the fucking, the, uh, 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 a car with a CD player in it. <laughs> Some shit that you would look like. But that was a shit at the time. Yo. You got the TVs in the headrest. Right. 
That shit came and went. Motherfuckers don't even care t- about that shit yeah. no more. You gotta fucking got the TVs on. You drive by yourself. You got the TVs yeah. in the fucking head. TVs in the back on. It's just you. The fuck? And you gonna turn the motherfuckers off? Ain't nobody. Yo. <laughs> fucking TVs in the head. No. Oh my god. I mean, the styles of trends we went right. through, man, is right. fucking wild, dog. Right. No, I need my no. I gotta. I gotta go out there and get this paper, dog. You know what I'm saying? I get my shit. I get my fucking Range Rover with the ski rack. <laughs> Remember when I was at the ski racks when they joined? People was putting paying to put the ski racks on their joint. My ain't mother's really paying skiing. money for that shit. Niggas ain't never skied day. Never. No own a pair of skis. We ain't know where to go buy one at. When he know to go buy a goddamn pair of skis at? Yo. They go to the polar nose and still don't go skiing. <laughs> you chilling in the lodge. Remember that? When niggas the polar nose, but he never went skiing. Right. We just go pay to put the ski rack on top of their joint. No matter what the car was, it had a ski rack on it. Yeah, I remember that shit, yo. I remember that shit. <laughs> think about how dumb some of this shit was that we thought was thorough. That's where we was paying at, it. yo. Motherfuckers are paying to put a ski rack on top of their car. No matter what the car was, motherfuckers put a ski rack on it. Oh. Ski racks on shit. Yeah, we did a lot of we did a lot of goofy shit, man. Like you said though, like, that's why now I'm, I'm older. I mean, I'm we older now. I don't chase the trends though. Yeah, because it, you kind of settled in, it's just right. it is what it is for me. I don't gotta yeah. run around. Cause one, one, I feel like I'm older. I'm not chasing trying to be, I'm I'm not trying to dress in. Everything that I mean, you know, some stuff don't, don't just don't go out of style. Some stuff True. like Nike, Polo, stuff right, like that. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be wearing your whole life, but I'm not jumping up to run around and oh, that's the new thing right now. Everybody gonna jump on that. I'm not doing that. I'm older now. Mm-hmm. Now I understand a young person that's in that mood now that I gotta have that now because that's the age they in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it cracks me up because the motherfuckers always say the, the, the TikTok trend was the '90s is done, but y'all no, wearing shit from. A6 is back in style. New right. Balance is back. I'm like, that shit is not new. That's some shit we was so, wearing uh, yeah. back then, that's dog. What, that's what killed me, dog. That's, <laughs> that's that never went out of style. People always wore New Balances. Right. People, not, not, people always wore New Balances in Philly. Yeah. Now, I mean, ever since we was kids. Everything y'all loved was from the 90s. Yeah. Y'all saw, now I mean? Y'all, y'all movies, everything y'all love is like from the 90s. Yeah. It's it's probably, what y'all talking about? Stuff coming to crew with a pair of Asics on. I'm like, yeah, because, fuck, y'all start wearing Asics and yeah. shit again. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> stuff stuff go out, come back in. Right. Like, yeah. Stuff go out, come right back in. That's crazy, man. You are right. Yeah, because I didn't know, because I thought they was like some designer joints everybody started wearing. Right. I was like, no, they just, they just Asics. They yeah. just wearing Asics <laughs> now. Like, yeah. Because when I seen them joints, I'm like, them joints look just like Asics, but I thought they were like some designer joints. Right. No, they just Asics. Yeah. So they, so, but you know, it's new to them. It's old to us, but it's right. new to them. Right, right. Yeah, yo, everything just come back, man. So, I mean, you really have to be disciplined, man. You got to be disciplined to know what you want. And if if you got a partner that's disciplined, the 100% don't matter. you like, yeah, I paid 100% because the money that she's saving is going to, you know what I mean? We use that for X, Y, and Z. The discipline has to be in place. It can't just be my money is my money and your money is your money. No, it don't work like that. And then you got to see, see, but a lot of that, a lot of people in relationships that there's no transparency. You don't know what she doing. True. You know what I mean? She knows what you doing with your money, but right. she don't know what she doing with her money. Right. And she don't let you know, which I don't, I kind of, I kind of don't like that. If y'all, if y'all working together, if y'all understand, if y'all working together, I understand that. Mm-hmm. Now, now I mean, if y'all working together, Everybody need to know. You just doing whatever with your money and you don't even know what you doing. I don't know if you say it, I don't know if you spit. You just don't know. Right. So some of y'all relationships and y'all just not. Y'all just y'all not even a couple. Y'all just in the same, y'all cohabitating together in the same damn house or whatever. In a relationship together. Roommates. But y'all, yeah, exactly. That's what y'all are. Y'all not even in a relationship together. Y'all roommates. There yeah. y'all, you roommates. Motherfuckers roommates. Now I mean just like you got roommates, you don't know what the person person bank account. You just you right. got your half of the rent, right. you got your this and your that. You don't know what they doing with they got their they got their money. That's pretty yeah. much yeah. Dude, you right. Yo, you right. Fucking roommates. You right. Y'all not a couple, y'all roommates. Yeah, y'all fucking roommates. That's all y'all roommates. Sleep in the same damn bed, y'all just but y'all roommates. Yeah. That's what it is. Damn, yeah. that's crazy. Oh, that's it. Dog. That's, that's crazy. That's what I'm You're saying. Right. I, I'm, yet, roommates. I'm yet to see that, that a successful relationship at the end where this man made 100 percent and this woman didn't do nothing. It always ended with. Yo, he died and I need help for the funeral. I'm like, well, we know him to pay 100%. Like, 
What's what's the money that you was saving up at? But this bitch got a million bags though. Mm-hmm. Got a million bags. You, you, your shoe collection is crazy. Mm-hmm. Now shit hit the fan. You know what I mean? Like you said, you can go anytime. Now you you can be a 40, 45, 50 year old woman. You still got life left. You ain't save up a dime. Now who gonna help you? Mm-hmm. Who gonna help you with these fucking bills? You gonna find somebody else to pay 100%? Mm-hmm. Come on, man. And the, th- and the crazy thing about that, the women that say that, I want a man to pay 100%, do you really want that? Because there's a man out here that look like fucking Gargamel that'll pay 100%. Mm-hmm. Do you want him? No. No. You know what I mean? No. Like, no. I want a motherfucker that make me wet and I'm attracted to. Right. To do that. Right. Because <laughs> trust me, you can find somebody that's going to yeah, pay. You can find, yeah, hell yeah. Some, some, hell somebody, yeah. I can find, somebody I can find somebody that's not the man you want, though. Right. Exactly. See, see what they're really saying is, I want the man that I want. To pay 100%. Right. Not the man I don't want. Right. Right. I want the man I want to pay 100% to take yeah. care of me. Not, see, that's the catch. Trust me. You can find somebody. Hell yeah. That, that'll love. Some of y'all are beautiful. Y'all find me that love to have y'all and take care of y'all. Yep. Y'all don't want them. You want the man. I want the man I want to take care of me. Yeah. Not the man I don't want. The man I'm not attracted to. Right. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. That's so that's why, is. yeah. Yeah, because if that was the case, y'all be showing these dudes that's that's <laughs> from paying y'all, y'all on these goddamn yachts. Y'all on these goddamn yachts and these private jets. Y'all go on these vacations, y'all be showing no, that man. No. He paying for everything, ain't he? Yeah. How come you don't want to show him? No. Yeah, because that's not the man you want. Exactly. You dealing with him for survival, you know what I'm saying? And getting the perks and all that and going and, and you know what I mean? And going and traveling and all that. Yeah. He paying 100%. Show him he look like the nigga off of the Goonies and How shit. come? Hey, you guys! <laughs> I'm saying, but he just got money. <laughs> Take pictures with him on the beach. He paid for the trip, didn't he? Right. 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 I mean, yeah, do that. Yeah, so what they saying is no, the guy that the guy that my attraction level two is a ten that make me wet. I want him to pay all the bills, right? So that way I can go be with him and show him off and all this and that, right? You don't want it, you don't you don't want the guy that okay. Well, what, well who the guy that flip the guy that's flip, flipping the bill and all that? He's not. Yeah, no, I don't worry. No, about I can't him. show him. You showing a picture? Okay, y'all just on the guy y'all on this big ass fucking yacht, right? And y'all pay y'all pay for that. Not to say a woman can't have her own money, but let's be for real. And right. it, now I mean, in my travels and some of the people I meet, you know what I mean, I meet men that have that of, of means, right? But they don't get they don't get showed. They'll tell you in a second. Oh, such and such, yeah, I was down there. Oh, I, y'all know such and such person from Instagram? Who? Oh no, she she be on Instagram. Such and such, show me a picture of her. Oh, I never even knew a real name. Mm. You know what I mean? I didn't know a real name. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay, you oh, okay, you don't want to pay for that. You was there. Okay. Yeah. That's why when, when she showed them pictures, okay, you don't want to pay for all that. Right. You don't want to pay for them to be on the boat and all this and that. They was out there with you. Okay. I ain't mad at you, you know what I mean? But that's not the one you want to claim because you're not attracted to that person. I mean, no disrespect to nobody that right. I know what you mean. I, I mean, I mean yeah. I had count the conversation with, but but some men know what it is. Yeah. Listen, using me for my pocket, I'm using you for your body. Right. Some people feel like that's fair exchange. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. You know what I mean? She ain't looking at him as somebody to be with with long term, and he ain't looking at her neither. He, you know what I mean? Listen. I was gonna spend the damn money any damn way. Right. Some 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 dudes got it like that. I don't go on vacation anyway. Shit, you can come along and get fucked. Mm. Right. <clears throat> like I said, some some dudes got it like that. Yeah, you're right. Some dudes do. So, hey man, um, He's all over the place with this one, man. But I kind of feel like y'all kind of got the gist of what we was trying to talk about or whatever. So 50, 50 bills. Yeah, man. That's, that's layered, man. It is. The conversation is very, very layered, man. You know what I mean? We might do, I don't know. We might do a part two and just keep on going. Something like that. You know what I mean? You it know? is. Yeah, but um, yeah, I remember what I wanted to talk about. You know what I mean? We're going to talk about the Friday episode. We might, right. might continue to talk about this too and talk about that. Why, why not? Listen, man. They, 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 say they, they say they like the conversation no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? We, they, you know, we not boring. 
We not, you know what I'm saying, it's monotone or nothing. Yeah. Y'all appreciate what we do, and we appreciate yeah. you. Yeah, because, man, I'm. that's why I thank y'all for rocking with us, man. I like, and, 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 and I, yeah, and I thank y'all for, for, for telling me stuff like that, that y'all like the fact that y'all can take a listen to anything we talking about, and we can keep it interesting, because some of these, I'll be like, yo, man, I... Some of these, some of these podcasts, I'd be like, man, I, I, ain't, I can't do it. I can't sit through this whole podcast, bro. It's just, it's just not, it's just not interesting enough. Or you got a lot of people that you can tell they just like, they, they will never be transparent and they'll never like. I, I also think that too. Like a lot of content is just like people like being phony, mm-hmm. and they'll never really talk about <clears throat> no real experiences or nothing like that. So that's what kind of like that kind of like kills it for me. We just feel like some people just ain't gonna be genuine no damn way. I'm just on here for attention and trying to make back and forth banter content. You know what I mean? True. All of that, 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 that type of thing. But anyway, man, I'm trying to ramble. Bro. No, you good. I know what you mean. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but nonetheless, man, we appreciate y'all. As always, man, we ask that you, you know I mean, if you got to this point, uh, leave a comment. You know what I mean? Let us know what you thought. Uh, like, rate, review, share, subscribe. All of those good things to show that you appreciate the big things that we do, man. And we out of here, y'all. Peace.